सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन द एस्टोनिया सीरीज इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द फर्स्ट वीडियो देन मेक श्योर टू चेक इट इन द इन्फॉर्मेशन कार्ड हियर आई विल टैग इट एंड इट विल ऑल्सो बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो द फर्स्ट वीडियो वॉज अबाउट द एडमिशन रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ डूइंग ए पी एच डी इन एस्टोनिया सो इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू पी एच डी ऑब्वियसली इट्स नॉट फॉर यू इट्स ओनली फॉर पीपल हुट टू डू पी एच डी इन एस्टोनिया uh which is also a very bright destination of doing phd in europe as i have heard from them repeatedly and there's a really good opportunity at at least in our field uh of educational science and computer science something technology like that right? like yeah technology technology enhanced learning or whatever the conference that we went to and one thing is that this video i would say will be very useful for anyone who wants to come to estonia and uh, settle there during the initial time period like to understand what are the cost of uh, living the living expenses food housing and all these minor points we will try to touch them very briefly and whatever we miss you can comment below so that we can try to help make sure to comment and we'll also put the info in the description below so that you can click on the links and go to them so maybe we can start with housing i would say normally i choose to start with housing okay because that's a major concern i would say in netherlands i see it so i think it will be a major concern everywhere because students are rising everywhere in europe after the things that happen in us which i don't want to go into mm mm-hmm. so what would you say like about the search process in housing and websites obviously we'll leave in the description but the prices the search process and any experience you had during what type of house you live in like something. okay so in my case uh, i'm living in university dormitory mm-hmm. so the best thing about that that dormitory actually very close to tallinn university where i'm doing my phd and it's just like a two or th- three minutes walk from the university now coming to the prices in that university uh, sorry in that uh, dormitory like uh, there are uh, two kind of prices so right now what i am paying is like it's uh, 170 euro for per month mm-hmm. it include like all utilities like water electricity everything oh, only 170 euros mm, that's yes. nice and the uh, but so uh, there is another option like uh, the room is a little bit bigger than mine so so previously it was like triple sharing and it was like 140 but recently they changed this triple sharing to double sharing and na- they increased the price like 190 so by sharing because here the sharing concept is different so by sharing what do you mean like you share the kitchen bathroom and okay so in uh, So the thing is like uh, we will share one link to the video in the description as well it will show you mm-hmm. what kind of apartment you will get in Karu dormitory okay. so basically there are like uh, two rooms or in some cases four rooms mm-hmm. and uh, in each room there will be two person and you will share the kitchen with other rooms so in my case like in my apartment there are total two rooms and we are having a shared kitchen and you will get like fridge and freezer and there is like laundry facility as well so i think it's uh, not a bad deal and so in Do case you also share the bedroom or yes so in the room there are two people mm-hmm. and in case so you... basically you share everything right uh the bathroom kitchen and the bedroom and everything space yes so that is the only difference what i see like here the bedroom is private and I, everything else is shared but they are share everything yeah so this is about dormitory but in case like if you don't want to share your uh, bedroom or mm-hmm. you don't want to share your kitchen in that case you can go for private accommodation mm-hmm. and for that information is also provided in the description okay. and, uh, and how much roughly so it depends actually like uh, where are you taking that apartment so if you are taking that apartment near to city center okay that you can consider as a center of tallinn it will be bit expensive i think uh, like if you had seen in many videos so in all of europe this concept mm-hmm. applies whenever you are near the center yeah. you always pay the max but i would say like you can find uh one not one room apartment but uh, one room in a shared apartment where you have to share a, a kitchen and maybe 
toilet and bathroom so in that case you can get around 200 to 300 not 200 250 to 300 so in that range you can get a single room in a shared apartment okay so yeah okay. like but and and uh, and if we have a family or something yeah. and you take a two bedroom or three bedroom apartment what will be the roughly range of pricing like uh, so the thing is like if you are looking for only one room apartment that is expensive but if you are looking for like two room apartment or three room apartment uh, it's manageable like today i just saw one advertisement for accommodation and it was like 600 for three room apartment so okay. if you are have your friends and then i would say like it would be a good option like having a mm -hmm. shared apartment i mean yeah like you can also share with your friends or maybe if you have a family then paying 600 euros for three or four people is not bad like. yes so this is the way how students usually live in estonia mm -hmm. they actually share the apartment okay yeah that's true for everyone yep. uh so what about the food like after house you need food <laughs> Yes, well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, like, uh, food in Estonia. I mean, like, it's uh, not. You can it's not it. Yeah, it's not that expensive from other European countries. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, because now you saw what is the price in Netherlands, so yes. I think you can. Also so Netherlands is quite expensive mm -hmm. as compared to Estonia, and in Estonia, I would say like. Uh, like if I take example of any raw material like maybe bread or uh, one liter milk what is the uh, normal price there like so I think you'll find it in websites but we are just having a discussion so like, yeah like so the bread you can buy like, like a half fifth, loaf or something. yeah 50 cents maybe 60 cents okay. it depends on okay. the quality of bread as well so that is and the minimum or the maxi or the mid well, yeah I would say like mid mm. so a kind of average okay and milk uh, it's around I think it uh, will around one here like so almost double one euro the so, minimum so milk in estonia is like 50 cents if okay. you are buying packet one liter if you are buying tetra pack then it will be one euro i think okay then it's almost the same yes okay and uh, so, so but as you say like most of the things are cheaper than most places in europe like netherlands or maybe i think western europe is already really like very expensive and some part of the nordic countries like norway or something except that i think others are relatively cheap but that's what my experience is like uh yes like regarding Even sweden is expensive like netherlands regarding cost i would say like uh, if you are not uh, a person of like uh, going uh, of frequent going to restaurant mm -hmm. and if you are buying your own grocery you are cooking your own food i would say like in 100 or 100 to 150 euro you can have like decent living mm -hmm. because yeah like if i remember you been eating non-veg right like meat and everything uh yes okay that's good like 100 euros is fine almost the same here right? so 100 to 150 not if that you cook much. yourself yeah and what about eating outside like was the average cost of a decent meal or like something very fast food like uh so for outside meals so first of all uh i want to share the information regarding university canteen okay so in Tallinn university we have like uh, three to four canteen and uh, the one where i have tried lunch it will cost you around uh, four to six euro mm -hmm. So yeah, and uh, in a uh, restaurant, uh, I would say like uh, average, it's eight, nine, or ten euro. Like it depends, mm -hmm. but I would say average. Okay, yeah. So the, but still, it's cheaper. So, if I see it in terms of Netherlands, it's really cheaper. So yeah, this is from like my personal experience. I've been to like an Indian restaurant there. I've been to how much is the Estonian Indian restaurant as well? and average like? So Indian restaurant, uh, it always it cost me around like 8 to 10 euro and as the most of our audience are indian as i've seen from the stats mm -hmm. so do you have sufficient indian food like restaurants or raw materials available in the grocery shops or uh, so yes like we have quite many restaurant in estonia because people here like indian food okay really That's very much here and uh, uh, for buying like Indian spices or ingredient, mm -hmm. there is one Indian shop. Okay. And only one. In my knowledge, only one. Okay. 
So you can buy like spices, you can buy lentil, you can buy all. Yeah, so like you can not all, it. but yes, like most basic, of the yeah. basic raw materials. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what is the main mode of transport? Like what is the transportation cost that one can expect? Like do you use bikes or do we have public transport? Is are very expensive like Netherlands or? So the thing is like uh, if you don't have Estonian uh, residence permit or if you don't have Estonian temporary residence permit in that case you have to pay and uh, I think one ticket for one hour cost you around two euro if you are a student if you have a stu student ID card and by that I mean international student ID card in that case you have to pay one euro for one hour but if you are coming here for study purpose and uh, once you got your uh, TRP temporary residence permit mm. then it will be free so in oh, Estonia, free so in Estonia yes so in Estonia public transport is free for their residents okay so but only in Tallinn okay so if you are going out of Tallinn to another city or another mm. town in that case you have to pay but in entire Tallinn so the capital of Estonia is Tallinn right? yes okay yeah so yeah, public transport is free and, and it's suppose quite a good news for students. You said it's for your citizens. So suppose if I choose to come to Estonia for a tourist visit, I need to pay. Yes, then you have to pay. But for one hour, any kind of transport, I'll pay I, only one. Yeah, I think so. Like uh, I mean, It's really cheap because in, in Delft, I would give example that I had a few days back. For three minutes, I had to pay for a train 2 euro 40 cents. Although that was compensated, but... That's like ridiculous amount of money that they charge here. I don't know if it really helps, but I don't want to go into that debate, but it's really ridiculous. Yeah, that's why Estonia is a good option. <laughs> uh, okay, and do you, like anyone prefer to use bikes like we yeah. people bike here? Like Yeah, I one? also do have a bike and... Uh, How expensive are they, like the range of pricing? So, if you buy a second hand bike? So the thing is like, uh, you don't need to uh, spend much on the bike. And I think like in the range of 50 to 100 euro, you can buy a nice second hand bike. Okay. So yeah, like in summertime, it actually really nice to bike in the city and explore the city. And uh, I've been to some nearby cities as well. So and it was a good experience. So that's a good thing because if you keep on traveling, at least you have this public transport, although it's in a limited range, but still like... Yes, so... And what about any other expenses? Like there are many other expenses, but may anything like you want to highlight? I don't think like there is any Apart other from expenses. Food and housing. So yeah, transport is free for you. Do you know uh, the average study expenses? I have no idea. Uh, I don't if know exactly the fees, but uh, in case if you want to know, you can write to me. And okay. I will try to find the fee. So you will find all his details in the info Yeah, so my all contact details are given in the description. So, yeah. Okay. And what about the like hair cutting and all other types of expenses like uh, buying books or stationery if someone is a student and uh, you in have that library or I you got some uh, how do you say like discounted copies from the library sometimes they do in some places in Europe so you don't need to buy those expensive books but I think like uh, all your uh, or it's like ebooks uh, like. academic requirement will be fulfilled by the library like okay and I personally don't have any experience of buying books. So you don't have any additional expenses apart from, I mean, your academics, whatever you need. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any additional if you don't drink too much. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all. Uh, okay. So thank you very much for your time thank for you making much. these two videos mm -hmm. possible for our audience and mm -hmm. I'm very glad that you could give uh, some of your valuable time for this video and I hope really success for your PhD because uh, you only finished one year and I finished two years if I had been following my weekly vlog so I hope you will soon hear something you will always hear from me <laughs> but you will soon hear from him also. 
Okay, so in the end, I want to add something like, uh, seriously, if you're really looking forward to do your PhD abroad, don't hesitate. Okay, if don't think like why someone is going to reply to your mail, you don't have any research experience, don't think in that direction, just give it a try. And if you need any additional information, just write to him or write to me. Give, my email is also given in the description. So the reason he mentioned about the PhD not to confuse you is because in the previous video we mentioned about the PhD. But yes, this so video this was cost of living. So but still you can contact So him. this information like for cost of living or for a PhD admission process. So if you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. I would be really happy to answer your question. So don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you like the video and share the video among all of your friends who are interested to come to Europe and looking for different options. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. So before we leave, here is Pankaj. I am Sambit. If you have been watching, I make videos on studying and living in the Netherlands. And I am slowly expanding to Europe. So see you in next future videos. Till then, peace.